In this video, we're going to be using Noble Otter, the Noir and Vanelli, and the Gem Micromatic Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me this Tuesday morning. I really appreciate it. And if it's your first time here, I hope you'll consider subscribing below. So, as mentioned before, today we're going to be using Noble Otter, the Noir and Vanelli, and this is uh, basically that, that translates to black tea and what is it? Black tea and vanilla. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm already forgetting. That's not a good sign. Um, this is one that I've been after for a long time. And honestly, when I got it, I wasn't sure how I felt about the scent when I did the unboxing. I did that several days ago and I've been, I've been smelling it ever since, hoping it would grow on me and it's actually gone the other way. But I want to say something right out of the gate on this one. More people like this one than dislike it. So my feelings about the scent on this soap, I am definitely in the minority. So if you're somebody who likes this sort of scent, or if you think you would like it, you probably will. If you're somebody that finds yourself agreeing with me more than not, maybe you won't, but I actually grew to dislike this after the unboxing. I've smelled it, I don't know, several dozen times. And to me, I, I don't know, I just don't care for it. I get the black tea, now, let me show you what the notes are. It's bergamot, black tea, strawberry, jasmine. I think I get black tea and jasmine. I don't really get much of anything else, almost no vanilla. There's no sweetness whatsoever to my nose on this, but again, you may really like this. This is definitely not a fresh boy scent. It very well could be a funk boy scent, so I'm gonna send it to uh, Marin because he was interested in trying it, but the scent is just another miss for me in Noble Otter, which is disappointing because I'm one for six with scents on Noble Otter. I bought three, I missed on all three, and I've had two samples, or I've had three samples as well. Um, the only one I've liked so far is Barber, um, and it's disappointing. Um, I will say, good quality soap, fantastic labels, fairly priced. This is $16 for four ounces or $4 an ounce on our cost chart, which is a fair price. Great ingredients in this soap, we'll show them to you right there. Some of the ingredients I like, it's got cocum, aloe, vitamin E, lanolin, mango seed butter. Um, I mean, there's some really good ingredients in here. It is a high quality soap. You can buy this with confidence in terms of the quality of the soap itself. So today we're gonna to be taking off 24 hours of growth, which is standard, because I am a daily shaver. I have all this gear <laughs> and uh, I like to I like to use it, and we're going to use a pre-shave today, the PAA cube. Not it's not needed, but I have it, and I've used this Noble Otter base several times. So we're not testing a base; we're just sort of trying the soap to see once it's on my face if it changes my feelings. But honestly, um, I'm going to say this, and I don't mean this at all to be offensive. What it reminds me of is my grandfather back in the set '70s had a pedestal. Uh, ashtray and that is an ashtray that had like a stand that sat by his bed and this sort of reminds me of that it's got that ashy sort of smell to it there's no sweetness whatsoever to my nose um which is very very different from this one which i love the earl gray and ginger fantastic the soap commander refreshment fantastic um tea type scents this one is just the black tea leaves, and for me, I guess that's just not all, or excuse me, not, not the one I'm holding up, but this one is just the black tea leaves. And for me, just not all that pleasant, um, which, is, which is really a, a shame, like I said, because I'm now one for six. I bought Roar, I didn't like that. I bought this one, I didn't like it. I bought Northern Elixir, it was okay, but, but um, it wasn't bad, but just it wasn't good enough for me to keep. And so here we are again, and I've missed again. And it's just that it seems that my, you know, my nose doesn't really care that much for Noble Otter sense. Um, and this is why I think there's a tremendous value in samples because if I had bought um, the five I missed on, it would have came to eighty dollars, right? And misses, all misses. Now, just so happens that I. One was sent to me, Barber, which I like. It's the only one I like. And I had two other samples sent to me, which was Orbit and Monarch, which I didn't like. And then I bought the other three. So even with the ones I've missed on, you know, it's 
you know, it adds up when you miss on cents, which is why, let's say that he was selling uh, samples for 350. That would be far less Im impactful. If you missed five times like I have, that would be, you know, like 17 or $18 or something like that. What, what, what is it? Did I write it down? Um, no, I didn't. Like 1750 versus $80 worth of misses. That adds up. I mean, that is, that's good money when you're missing that much when you're buying blind. And so I really, really appreciate samples for this reason. You can try and if you like it, it's great. You'll buy it. So the artisan would get the 350. Let's just say they're charging 350. The artisan would get the 350 for sample and then another sale on the ones they like. But in this case, I've missed five times and I'm not as likely to keep trying blind because I just, it, they just don't agree with me. It is a high quality soap though. So today we're using the Micromatic a gem style razor. We'll open it up. It's twist to open. And there is your gem blade. And we hope to get a good shave today. And we will. This blade I think has four or five uses on it. It's still very, very good. And with these, um, gym style razors, the angle is almost set for you because of the, the design of the razor. So almost you lay it flat on your face. You might have to rotate it out a little bit and it'll do what it needs to do for you. So really nice razors. These are quite old, but old doesn't mean ineffective. And these shave as well as some of the modern razors and better than some, I would say. Now, I know some folks don't care as much for the gem style blades. You know, I don't mind them. I think they shave well. And please don't confuse this open comb to mean aggressive. You can feel the blade on this razor, but I personally think the clog proof is, I feel a little more blade when I use that razor, which is not open comb. So don't let the open comb fool you into thinking by default. It's more aggressive. Um, some people mistakenly feel that way. It is not the case. You can have an open comb razor that's very, very mild. I would say on this one, it's got some pretty good efficiencies to it, but I wouldn't call it overly aggressive. But I do like it, which is why I have it. We like to use these every once in a while. We're going to try to mix it up more and, and use more of these single edge razors and just try to use everything and just enjoy. Now, of course, when I have razors to hone and I hone them, I'm gonna try those edges, you know, but right now I don't really have any razors to hone. So I'll, I'll certainly be rotating these, the straights in just to, just to use them, but I'm gonna be rotating also the shavettes in and the, and the uh, single edge razors, double edge razors, you know, because there are viewers that watch, you know, they look for all these things. And so, but I will say when I'm honing and testing edges, <laughs> you know, I'll be, you know, I'll definitely be using the, the straights more if I get something new or something like that. All right, there we go. Great quality soap. The brush is AP Shave Co. This is a two bed um, synthetic knot, which works well. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention today is I saw, um, Chris Maiden made a video yesterday and then he took it down um, because he wasn't happy with the way he expressed himself. And I just want to say this. I know folks were put off by that video. Um, and honestly, it wasn't for me as well. But people sometimes make mistakes. And when you put out these th this regular content and sometimes you're you're not on your game and and you don't phrase things the way you would like to, and we've all gotten over our skis, as they say, myself included, many, many times. And so I don't believe in tarring and feathering a fella, you know, <laughs> based on he says some things we don't agree with, um, especially when he subsequently took that video down and reached out to some folks and said, uh, you know, I'm not happy with the way I express myself. I apologize. And hey, you can't ask for any more than that. And so thank you, Chris, for, for uh, addressing that. And uh, I know Chris was kind enough to, to revisit my channel 
you know, because in the past I was doing political content and ranting and stuff that people just really weren't interested in because they're here to see shaving, not ranting about politics. And so I know Chris came back and revisited my channel based on, you know, changes and different out attitude and outlook. And so I would hope that you would uh, give him the same chance because he, he said some things maybe he wasn't proud of after the fact, after he thought about it. And uh, he took that down and then he will make a video sort of addressing that. And so hats off to you, Chris. I really appreciate that. Uh, we all make mistakes. And uh, I think forgiveness, and I say this off and on, forgiveness is an important thing. So um, when you do this sort of content and you do it regularly, sometimes you get a little over your skis. Also, sometimes you get passionate, you know, about topics and, and you go a little harder than you would like and, you know, people get upset and you don't intend to upset them, but that's the end result. And so, you know, even in this video where I'm saying, you know, look, I, I haven't, I love the Nova Otter brand. I love their labels. They're reasonably priced. They're great quality. Um, I just don't care for the sense generally. Some people will be offended by that. I don't mean any offense by it. And I certainly don't mean any offense towards Noble Otter. But, you know, th those are my feelings. But I do, I realize that fans of brands now get so connected to things that will take offense. There is none intended. Because this is excellent soap and I'm not trying to steer any, any, anyone away from it. But it's just not for me. And the reason I'm saying it that way is because if you say it's a pile of crap, which it is not, that puts people off. And so I try to be careful now about how I express myself, but I make mistakes too. So the point is, you know, see if there's some forgiveness in your heart. We all make mistakes. I will make mistakes in the future. And I hope you'll give me a second chance when I make that mistake as well, because we all do, we're all human. So I say hats off to you, Chris. Thanks for reconsidering that. I appreciate that. All right. Haven't talked much about the, the razor here. It does a great job. It was built right. It has lasted all these years and it will still provide for an outstanding shave even today. And so I really like it. And these blades, by the way, are not the blades that you get at Lowe's. So make sure you get the blades that are intended for shaving and not the ones that are intended to go in a paint spray, scraper or utility tool or something like that. Because they're not the same. Really nice shave here. Today, one thing you can say about Noble Otter, the quality is there. It has plenty of slickness and all that. I can't tell you how much because I can, you know, no one can prove how slick something is, but I can tell you plenty slick enough, you know, <laughs> or at least based on my experience. So. No problems there, but boy, I wish I could, I wish I liked their scents more because like I said, one out of six is pretty dismal and you know, that's, that's just my taste and preference and it certainly does not make Noble Otter a, a bad or anything like that. It's just me, my nose and their nose are not in alignment and accord and you're going to have that sometimes. So, but I will say most people by a good bit have really liked this particular soap. But to me, it went from, I think it's somewhat pleasant um, when I first opened it to progressively worse as I smelled it more, I fell out of love and that's unusual. That usually doesn't happen. And man, I wish that I had tried samples of these, but I don't think Noble Otter offers samples from their website. Again, I, I hope some of these artisans will consider this because, you know, I think it helps them and us because me, once I miss so often, I'm like, I'm not blind buying anymore. You know, like I'm at the point where I just can't blind buy Noble Otter. I will have to find somebody to get a sample from. And maybe you can get them from Maggard, I don't know, but I would love to see the artisans offer them. And if they do offer them and I'm just missing it on the website, I apologize, but that's additional service, additional value that I would really appreciate. All right. So that was excellent. Quality wise, cannot complain. Scent, 
Just not digging it, just not digging it. Let me rinse, we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, here we are, back with the Magic Made by Witches. This, of course, is Thayer's Witch Hazel. This one is cucumbers, just in a spray bottle. And of course, off cam, we use the PAA uh, alum with dry dock, still ho holding up very, very well. Very little stinging, so that was a nice, uh, smooth shave. I gotta say, these old razors, these old single edge gems, Micromatic, clog proof, flying wing, bullet tip. I mean, there's several varieties. They do a great job. Um, no problems with this shave today. Still an effective shaver after all these years. If you haven't tried some of these vintage offerings, give them a shot and see what you think. I think they're certainly worth trying. We use the AP Shave Co. Uh, this is their one of their signature brushes with two bed synthetic knot. It was excellent. We use the Noble Otter. Uh, black tea and vanilla, just not for me. The scent for me on this one is a no, no go. Marion, I hope you enjoy this. As a funk boy, I think you will, or at least I hope you do. Um, great quality soap, just the scents. I'm one for five, so I don't know. <sighs> I'm missing too much with Noble Otter. All right, we'll finish off today with Spearhead Lavender and Vanilla Toner. This was an early one that I was sent and uh, I actually like this. This is a beautiful scent. I don't think there's alcohol in it. I like alcohol in my aftershaves, but no big deal. We don't have to have it. I do like it, but this is beautiful. I tell you what, this puts, I did not really enjoy the scent during the shave, but this makes the shave enjoyable and, and the fact that it was a good quality shave. Um, I did want to use the scent just to see if during the shave it would change my mind, but just couldn't be overcome. I just don't care for it. And, you know, sometimes you're going to miss. That's the way it goes. All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. I really appreciate it. I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.